hello welcome again to for today's topic we are going to get the word of god from the book of genesis chapter 19 verse 24 to 38 and we're going to look at how the two daughters the two clever daughters maintained their father's generation through their through their wisdom and understanding and the knowledge they have so it starts from verse 24 then the lord rained on sodom and gomorrah brimstone and fire from the lord out of heaven and he overthrew those cities and all the fire and all the inhabitants of the cities and the water grew on the ground but lord his wife behind him looked back and she became a pillar of salt and abraham went early in the morning to the place where he had stood before the lord and he looked down toward Go- sodom and gomorrah and toward all the land of the valley and beheld and lo smoke of the land went up like the smoke of a furnace so it was that when god destroyed the cities of the valley god remembered abraham and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow when he overthrew the cities in which Lot dwelt remember Lot was very a righteous man in the in Sodom and Gomorrah so when we go to the book of the same Genesis chapter 9 chapter 17 18 19 there Abraham asked God if there was a one person was he going to destroy them but the Lord the Lord took in mind took in mind what Abraham intended to so he saved the Lord Lord was a fair faithful and righteous man 30 now lo, lo, now Lord went up out of Zor and dwelt in the hills with his two daughters for he was afraid to dwell in Sodom so he dwelt in a cave with his two daughters so here we see that Lot was very afraid to dwell in Sodom and he dwelt in a cave with his two daughters how is it possible a man who has lost his wife and remember he the Lot's wife became pillar of salt when he turned back he looked back meaning that when he changed his mind and remembered what they had in Sodom and Gomorrah that's when he became a pillar of salt so Lot has decided to stay in a cave with his two daughters what is going to happen and the first born said to the younger our father is old and there is not a man on earth to come into us after the manner of all the earth ask yourself are you the young are you are you the first born in your family what decisions what choices do you give to your siblings what advice so the the first born daughter knew that no man was to come across to him that is no man on earth was to engage with them so he came up with an idea telling his the his younger sister that come let us make our father drink wine and we will lie him that we may preserve us offspring through our father that was his hard decision that they would they would try with his father and to make the offspring to ensure that the father's generation of no was onwards the continuity so they made their father drink wine that night and the first born went in and lay with her father he did not know when she lay down or when she lo- rose and on the next day the first born said to the younger behold i lay last night with my father 
let us make him drink wine tonight also. Then you go in and lie with him, that we may preserve offspring, offspring through our father. So, the word wine. Wine is contrary shown in the Bible. Wine has been nurtured shown in the Bible in different ways. This wine that they wrote has drunk, it has made him to be unconscious. And the wine that Jesus drank when he was on the cross, that is the vinegar, it didn't make him drunk. And also at the Kana in Garil, the wine that Jesus made did not make people unconscious and to lose their focus. Also, there is a wine where Belshazzar drank that made him unconscious and he lost focus. So, you need to be careful as a Christian. What kind of wine do you take? When we go to the book of 2 Timothy 5, that three second Timoth, where it say that sorry I cannot remember the first correctly, but it's in the book of Second Timoth, where he say that a little wine is very important. So first Timothy yeah, chapter five verse twenty three. No longer drink only water, but use a little wine for the sake of your stomach and you have frequent ailments. People lose focus on this this fast they misquote it but remember it is paul who told people about how to take one he did not give the and he didn't he didn't give them a preference but when paul was preaching he went to preach with people he went to preach on people who didn't know what who were taking wine as their mean so for paul to bring them out of the scenes, he told them, just take a retro, take a retro. Because even when doctors advise people not to take cigarettes because it's bad to their health, they reduce the number. So that is the criteria Paul uses. So without losing our content of the fact is that the wine, the wine, the wine that Jesus took, the one that Jesus made at the canon in Marine, and this this wine that Belshazzar took, and the same same wine that Noah had taken. There is a big difference and similarities there. So they made their father drink wine that night also, and the younger arose and lay with him, and they did not know when she lay down or when she arose. Thus, both the daughters of Ruth, of Ruth were with child by their father. This is now. Whereby, the two daughters have become pregnant, actually. And now they are going to give birth. The firstborn bore a son and called his name Moab. Remember, remember Moab? This is where Ruth Lamech, Elimelech, and Kirion went to. He is the father of the Moabites to this day. The younger also bore a son and called his name Benan, his father of the Ammonites to this day. The younger also bore a son and called his name Benan. He is the father of the Ammonites to this day. How was it funny that when they lay with his father, they didn't get a daughter? It is very funny. Was it God's plan so that the, Moab, the Moabites and the Ammonites should exist? So, it's wonderful to, to hear this story. We don't encourage this behavior, but it is a good example from Rodi's children, Rodi's daughters, to show that how, which way a generation can, can be kept. 
Remember, Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed and there was no men who were to marry, who were to engage with the daughters of Lot. So they took a step and they went in with their father. The main question is this, was it God's plan for the two daughters of Lot to engage with this father in sexuality? Thank you very much. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. My YouTube account name is Obadia Ogeto. Watch there and learn more. This question shall be answered the next session. Bye.